Well, they can't really get wet because uh, they're, they're in the really packed. <laughs> Dropped into the bucket. Good morning. Good morning. How'd you sleep? Pretty good. Yeah? Yeah. The you... beds are comfy. It's just weird, all the noises, because it's a soft-sided yeah. structure. And then the I'm not familiar with the noises that the fireplace makes. When it too. kicks on and shuts yeah. off. It's not, it's not like in your face. It's just... Like, it's just a different noise you have to get used to, right? Yeah. It's not like it's loud or anything. It just makes a noise yeah. when it switches on and off. How about you? How'd you sleep? Uh, my, <laughs> I kind of shouldn't have brought this sleeping bag. This is like my minus nine sleeping bag. And I did sleep in my clothes just because I just have this fear of being cold. So uh, I slept perfectly fine. Like the temperature was just dynamite in the sleeping bag. Uh, in the air, it was perfectly fine all night. Oh, and she, oh, Carol also gave me a, uh, a hot, hot, water hot, hot water bottle. And uh, the hot water bottle definitely started me off being super toasty warm last night. Is it still warm? It's still a little bit warm. That's amazing. That's because that's like 12 hours now at least. And it wasn't even boiling water. We just had water sitting by the fire. Yeah, we put that whole pot on the fireplace. <laughs> and uh, you're not supposed to do that. Really? Yeah, it says don't put anything on top of fireplace. <laughs> so we shouldn't say that. But that's what it's for. Well, and you see, it's there is this whole area right. here underneath. So it's not like we're blocking a vent. Yeah, it's not a vent. So that's, you're supposed to put stuff on it. I think they just mean don't close. put clothes. Yeah or towel fire hazard yeah but it's not a fire hazard putting a right. metal pot on there i don't feel but it does say that but. it does say do not put stuff on the fireplace but i'm thinking a pocket and again they're talking about a fire hazard so they don't want you to put your wet socks and gloves and stuff on there which totally makes sense to anybody in this world but that looks like a grill to put a coffee pot on or whatever that's yeah. what that is 100 percent made for and there there is like a huge gap there and so so gap. it's not like we're yeah. blocking anything. right so like i said uh you can put a pot of water on there to keep hot which we did and then we use that water to fill up the hot water bottles uh this morning uh the first thing that woke me up this morning probably around seven was the hundreds at least that's what it sounded like, hundreds of Canadian geese having a chatty Cathy conference and to see who can honk the loudest. And uh, that went on for about a half an hour and between seven and 7.30. And then around eight o'clock, it just downpoured rain, which was freezing rain. Uh, I've already gone out to use the facilities and the car is coated yeah. in a thick layer of ice. Yeah. And then the noises of this uh, tent, basically, uh, it would build up water in some of these little areas and then the wind would blow it off and then you hear this huge splash outside and uh, that would wake you up. Um, so yeah, so it was the geese, then the rain, then the noises, then it sounded like somebody was walking around our yurt, but it's just noises like, and then something fell and hit the chimney outside. That woke me up again. So uh, not that I needed more sleep. It's just that you get that cold rainy day and you just want to lie in bed and and uh, just stay as warm as possible. And again, it's nice, nice in here. Definitely the shoes uh, are a must uh, for winter camping because I did, uh, walk around for a bit without the slippers on and the floor is cold over there. It's nice over there. It's really cold So bring slippers anyway, so today we are Probably going to go for another walk and then uh, Instead of cooking tonight, we're going to treat ourselves to a mom-and-pop shop that we heard that's really close to this campsite And what does it call it? It's a fish and chip place Lord Elgin's, Lord Elgin's. let us know in the comments below if you've ever ever been to Lord Elgin's fish and chip shop and uh, So we're gonna go there for dinner and hopefully by tonight uh, Or at least it's late afternoon. There's no more rain and we can start another fire and then we're gonna do uh, Carol had two ideas. One's called the Hobo Pies. Um, 
which you make with bread and jam, and then it's like in a press, and then you put the press inside the uh, campfire, and that heats it up and makes it all. Oh, you, I guess you you butter it all first, right? Right. Yeah. Yeah. You, you butter the bread. So it's like a grilled cheese yeah. almost. Yeah. So there's like it's like a it's cast iron pie yeah pie things but yeah it's square so it would be good for the loaf of bread that we bought right. yesterday so yeah you butter the bread so it doesn't burn and it's like a grilled yeah. grilled sandwich kind of thing and you put jam in there you can even put cheese in there make like a mini pizza but we, we did we did buy bananas we did buy bananas and we don't right? we don't really want them to go bad so i think we're going to stick with just one of those desserts on this trip and then we'll do the um, hobo pies on another trip. Cool? Sure. Cheers. Carol doesn't like coffee, so I have to drink alone every morning. <laughs> Why'd you get all the knives and forks and plates out, hon? Oh, because I'm hungry. <laughs> what are we going to cook? We're going to have scrambled eggs and, well, eggs and bacon. Eggs I'm and having, bacon. I'm having scrambled. I don't know what you're having. Yeah, it's easy to do scrambled. So, let's First thing is to see if the car opens yeah. with all the ice on it. I'm hoping it's, it's up to plus one degree right now. But uh, you have the key? I do. Okay. I just tripped over my own slippers. You ready? I'm ready. Well, that's, uh, it's already unlocked. Okay, there we go. Oh, yeah. Yeah, As you can see, it is very, very icy on the vehicle. Unbelievable. Is this the trunk one? Uh, yeah, double tap. Yeah. The poor door. Um, seventy-seven percent. So it's still operating. It, it works up to like minus twenty, I think. So it's gonna grab our eggs. Okay, eggs. Oh, bacon. Or there's some. There's bacon in here somewhere. Mm. Is it pre-cooked? Oh. Yeah, it's pre-cooked. We cooked it at home. And saves time here. But, but we learned a lot from doing this trip. Jam? You want some bread? I was just thinking that. I'm like, we got this loaf of bread. We're trying not to do carbs sometimes, but and this hey, is probably not the as well. best bread in the no, world it's for not you. The but, most healthiest. No. Gotta have my peanut butter. Oh my goodness, yeah. Mm. Okay. okay. Let's see if this baby closes. Look at that. You can't even see out. Mm. We're gonna have to start the car and let it run for a minute or two some of that ice off what we have to do is like get the broom and push up our things to see what happens yeah. go give it a shot just do this one I just want to see what happens S see the avalanche there's a there is a broom in there so there's a broom in there? yeah isn't it right by the door oh <laughs> nice no no don't do that one don't do that one It'll make the deck all messy. Oh. Do the one by the fireplace. Oh. Whoa. each sure yeah I like poking it me too break them up before you start stirring we're getting everything organized before we uh, go out there again yep cold pan cold pan I took a minute to heat that up just two each Well guys, it happened again. I used my head strap with my uh, first GoPro 9 that I ever bought and it just, it totally messed up and didn't get any of my cooking segment. Oh, what a pain. So what we did was, uh, it worked yesterday when I was doing the fire, but not today. We reheated the bacon uh, in the pan. Once that was reheated, we put the bacon up here on tin foil. I did the four toasts 
here and got that all toasted up. Then I did the eggs and it all worked out. Everything looks good uh, except the footage. And I don't know what's wrong with GoPro, but it's really annoying me. Do you want peanut butter, honey? Yes, please. So we got our eggs, perfect eggs. Put some salt in there. Carol doesn't like pepper on her eggs, so I'm gonna put that on afterwards. And uh, I should have taken the peanut butter. Oh, out uh, of the fruit, out of the yeah. car. Good job on the eggs, honey. Thanks. Mm -hmm. We have a perfectly good table, but uh, <laughs> this is the way it goes. Cheers. Cheers. Fish. Oh. Mmm. Bacon's perfect. Eggs are good. Check it out, all the ice melted off the car. It's bumped up to like plus one, just enough to uh, get all that ice off, which is super handy. Ready for a walk? Let's go. Beach, I believe we're like in this pod, and we're gonna walk along the shore to Merganser Cove, possibly around to McGregor Point. We'll see. See how we feel. Oh, oh wow! Go stand on it. I'll videotape. Yeah, falling in and dying. <laughs> That's beautiful, eh? Yeah. A lot of rock, rocky shores. Of Huron. It's kind of neat. I wonder if someone did that or it's just one of those accidents. Keep going. I'm videoing you. <laughs>
we just saw a deer. He was like just in this area and then he flipped his tail up and sprinted off in that direction. And I guess that's why they call it Deer Run Trail because we just saw a deer run on the trail. Hi. Hello. You all right? Good walk, eh? It's time to eat some fish and chips, don't you think? Sure. There it is. Lord Elgin fish and chips. I'm, I'm hoping that we beat the rush, the dinner rush, because it's only 4.30 or 4.40, and it is raining cats and dogs. Smells great. Mm -hmm. And we definitely got here before the dinner rush. <laughs> Hello. I'm good, thank you. We heard you guys have the best fish and chips we on do. the planet. We do. Nice place. Mm -hmm. Okay, what do we got? Uh, I love uh, halibut. It's my favorite. Let me know in the comments below if you love cod or haddock. Oh, shrimp and fries. Jeez. Mm -hmm. Shrimp, and shrimp in a basket. And apparently, on the other side, there's appetizers and sandwiches. Looks like. What would you guys drink with your fish and chips? Welcome to Lord Elgin Fish and Chips. What you gonna get? What you gonna get? I'm going to get a halibut. Yeah, that is the best. You can tell by the price. <laughs> What can I get today? Just the halibut, please. Okay. And uh, a nesty, please. Okay. I'm going to do your halibut and chips. Okay. <laughs> and uh, a Corona. Okay. Thank you. And we want the, one of the rolls. Oh, yeah, I want a roll with two rolls. Two rolls? Yeah. Because it's from Offshore Bakery. And you just coleslaw with those at all. No, thanks. And you guys want mushy peas. We don't have yeah, mushy peas, people, but we should have. That's right. You, <laughs> so I've been told all the English places have to have it. Or, yeah, uh, yeah. People get mad. A lot of people <laughs> ask for it, too. Yeah. Check this out, people. We have white vinegar and malt vinegar. I emailed Lisa because she lives in England and asked her, do you put the malt vinegar on the fish and the fries or just the fries or just the fish? fish because I would normally, back in the day, pretty much only put white vinegar on my fries and never on my fish. So let us know in the comments below, do you like the malt vinegar, the white vinegar, and do you put it on both things? Cause she said it's malt vinegar, you put it on both. So I'm gonna try that today. Thanks Lisa. Oh boy. You. You're very welcome. Looks awesome. Oh, thank you. You're very welcome. Thank you. Nice. Mm -hmm. Looks good. It's a nice big piece. And those are supposed to be special bun. Okay, this is my first time ever putting uh, malt vinegar all over everything. Uh, I gave Carol some of my fries. We were told when you come here, uh, they give you a lot of fries. Here we go. Malt. All over everything. Now, now I can't remember if people in England put lemon on theirs, but... We do in Canada, so. Mm -hmm. Well, they gave it to you, so I don't know. <laughs> I'm just going with the, flying by the seat of my pants here. We'll take that one little seat off, salt that up too. Okay, so you want me to film you or not? Yeah, in a second. You're busy. Mmm. Mmm. No oh, good tasting fries. Mmm. Not bad with the vinegar or the. Malt vinegar and the salt. Mm. Cheers first. Mm, okay. Oh, I, mean, I haven't had this since we ate at the halibut house. <laughs> or at least I did when I was there. I'm not sure if I should do all three things. Mm. Crunchy. Mm. It's dynamite. Oh my! How flaky that is! It's still steaming. Still steaming. This time I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna do a huge clump. 
This works. Right. Carol's going in. She already had a, a nibble. Again, this is a. There's only so many types of fish Carol likes, and halibut, crappie, uh, perch, and walleye. I think are your, the, all the ones that you like now. So, mm, good. then they have these buns from a bakery that's apparently really famous around here. Downpour. And it's pouring rain outside, so we're not going to be doing a fire tonight, whatsoever. Hmm. Good bun. Very good bun. Look how flaky and thick the piece of halibut that you get. Very nice indeed. I love the crunchy breading. You can't do that at the campground. <laughs> well, guys, it was that good. Carol's still eating. Got some more fries to go and, and a my, bun. And my bun. You're satisfied? Mm -hmm. Me too. We don't know what we're gonna do, guys. About it is pouring, pouring rain. So we'll have to figure out another dessert when we get back to uh, the campground. So uh, again, the halibut only is $14.75. Uh, Carol and I discussed that we probably wouldn't buy the dinner rolls again. Uh, the Corona definitely pushed up the bill by $5.50. A can of pop usually is a dollar, but here it's two. Uh, and then taxes and everything came to $49 uh, plus a 25% tip and we have to pay at the door. Ah, weather. Home sweet home. Nice and warm in here. As you can hear, it is still raining, but it's been about two hours since we ate dinner <laughs> and uh, it is dessert time. So we're going to do the banana chocolate. Yeah, banana boats. Is banana what boats. I called them when I was a kid. Okay. And, but, and we're going to use the uh, barbecue, which I'm going to quickly start now while Carol gets the rest of the stuff ready. Is that cool? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Cool. We have to just cut a s one line careful not to go through it all right i haven't made these in a long time so i am not be prepared yeah and so you just cut it down then you scrape something out right well that's what i thought but this recipe that i just looked up didn't say just, just pull it apart so you just pull it apart a little bit and then you just trying to keep it like yeah, a boat. Try and keep it like a boat. And I guess you can kind of do this too. Sure, why not? It's pliable. Yeah. Two so, boats ready to go. I'm just gonna use that to hold well, no, you them could do. straight. Oh yeah, put them in a bowl. That way keep them like a little bit of a Yeah, a little bit that, open. Even. Yeah. There you go. All right, so we didn't have any mini marshmallows. So we're gonna cut these suckers we're up. Cut these big ones up. And we also have some chips. Yeah, they're all gonna. Yeah, I think four will do it. Okay, let's see. So we can put a few in there. Maybe put it like yeah, put and then, definitely three, and then chocolate, and then more yes, on top. Yes, that's that's my thought. That's what you thought. Yeah. Yeah, that's gonna work great. I think. Sorry, does that help? This is perfect. Seeing it? Because my hand... Especially getting right up into that neck there. Yeah. Listen to that rain. Yeah, isn't that great? Well, we were saying at dinner, though, it's like, thank goodness that's not snow. Sorry about the noise. Mm -hmm. It's already noisy. Mm. Yeah. Even using this one piece, you know, put, a, put both bananas in and see what happens. Yes. Oh, okay. Get that. Yeah. I'm trying to think of covering it too. And you do it in the fire, you want to wrap them properly. Yeah, right. But, um, and it said it would take a few minutes because you're putting it into right, nice hot yeah. coals, right? But the recipes on, on, on this um, said it could take up to 15 minutes. Okay. So I want to know what are your guys' thoughts? There is a shiny side 
and, and the not, not so shiny, shiny side. side. I've already, I've always thought that the shinier side reflects the, the heat, heat back onto the food. Back onto the food, so you should always put it like that. But I was reading somewhere the other day that it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter what side. What side is you use for the? I wonder why oil. they, why it is that way. So maybe somebody who makes tin foil. Buy bananas. Buy bananas. Look good, it's nice eh? Knowing it. yeah. I'm gonna completely close it, right? Yeah. It's not gonna work. I didn't cut a big enough piece. We'll keep this very handy. Yeah. Okay, so it says it's at 325. Yeah, it's hot in there. That's good. This is is a picture of it see how it's gotten brown oh yeah see they i'm not sure where they says campfire so they so, they might have done right it. up against the coals yeah see in 15 maybe 10. Three. Oh, it's not very loud mm -hmm. all right let's check it okay oh it's up to 375. whoa cool. something fell off the Ooh, roof look at those cool ice things up there oh, oh they're gonna go they're gonna go <laughs> okay. All Enough right. playing around. Let's see. Nope. <laughs> no. Nope. So put it on the heat direct. So and we'll turn on the other ones. Another 15. Yeah. Hmm. That'll be so hot. Mm. Let's put it right here, hon. That looks awesome. Oh yeah, it's nice and melty. Like I said, it's been Is this a while. what you do normally, or would you eat it out of the peel? I'd probably eat it out of the peel, but I don't like to do that anymore. Okay. Wanna... No peel eating. Yeah. Oops. There you go. See, look, it's all nice and good on the yeah. bottom, like a fried banana. Whoa. Oh, you could eat it less like that, or it's too flimsy. Let's see you do it. All right. <laughs> I am gonna just do this. Are oh, you gonna do it? Yeah. Like a sub. <laughs> is it crazy hot? Mm -mm. Oh, good. Well, that looks great. Oh. Yeah, it makes sense. Okay. Banana, chocolate, marshmallow. It's a winner. And someone even on one of the posts even said um, you can spread peanut butter or oh. Nutella in there too. That would be good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. My turn. Uh-oh. <laughs> no. Mm -hmm. There we go. Uh-oh. -oh. Don't lost a marshmallow. That. Don't lose the, sh the mellow. Not working. Oh, no. <gasps> oh, no. Yeah, it's split apart. I cut it too far down, I guess. You think? Yeah, I guess. I I'm know. sorry. You're fine. Hold that on. was fine. Look at yeah. that melty chocolate. Oh, and then you put some ice cream on there. Oh, yeah. There you go. Whipped cream. Mm. Oh, it's crunchy. Yours is crunchy? Mm. The marshmallow? Yep. Yeah. My marshmallow might crunch. That's a great dessert. That's my first time ever having that. Are you serious? We've never done that. Wow. In my family. <laughs> the marshmallow definitely is phenomenal. It'd be kind of good to, I don't know, or like maybe we could do that type thing where you slid it on a V that way you can just eat it right out of the peel. But I think it would just fall apart no matter what you do. Anyway, give it a shot, guys. Thanks, Carol. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It is pouring rain once again. It sounds so much louder inside the yurt. Pardon me? It sounds so loud in the yurt. <laughs> all right, guys, that's all we have for you today. I hope you enjoyed Ken and Carol. First time camping in the wintertime and in a yurt. Uh, we've never done either of them. We hope uh, this maybe shed some light on some of the questions people might have on yurts and staying in provincial parks here in Ontario. But uh, there are yurts, as far as I know, all over the world. Uh, if you don't like setting up your own camp uh, or your own tent and your beds and all that stuff, you just want to, like this would be a great 
uh, backpacking type situation where you don't have to bring your tent and all that. Obviously it costs more money because there's electricity, there's gas, and it's a, they've got to pay for this building somehow. So hope you guys enjoyed that and some of the things we cooked, some of the things we bought, and uh, tomorrow morning we're getting up early, packing up and heading out. So we thank you very much uh, for watching and uh, we'd like to thank all of our channel members for their support and all the supporters over on Patreon. You guys rock.